Y'all cats might not own my records. But you can bet your bottom dollar every record you got got a piece of me in them. Ain't nobody out here today rapping, singing, whatever they doing. Ain't been touched by James Brown. So, and so, uh, Buell, you did right by yourself. There ain't no other way to live. You understand me? I'm at mom's house. I had to bring my mom some Lysol because Lysol is scarce, but came across a couple of cans, dropped them off at mom's, checked out my brother's car. Um, you guys know that uh, me and my brother had a couple of words because he went out and bought a Hellcat when I told him that he should be uh, investing more so in his business. But hey, he did what he thought was right at the time. You saw an opportunity and you took it. I might have got mad, but you did it right by yourself. I always did right by myself. I'm James Brown, and I made a difference. Not only did he go out and spend over $60,000 on a Hellcat, he also went and bought what I call a baby mansion, spent over $300,000 on a nice house as well. And, you know, I felt a type of way, but then I had to think about it. My brother is six, seven years younger than me, so he's like 23 to 22 years old right now. He makes over $30,000 a year just off of his passive income, and he works a nine-to-five job as a government contractor that pays him over six figures a year anyway. So um, he's making six figures, and at the maturity level that I was at six, seven years ago, I probably would have done just the same thing. I'm still not gonna give him a pass. I'm still gonna encourage him to be wiser with his money, to make sound investments and et cetera. But you know, at the end of the day, gotta love him and gotta continue to look out for him. Now, that being said, the reason why I'm giving you all of that backstory, it is raining in the Carolinas today. I told you guys I'm at my mom's house. He has a Hellcat and a Charger. Driving the Charger because he doesn't want to put a ton of miles on his Hellcat, but he left the top open on his Hellcat. The devil gonna have to get that fixed. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. Now it's supposed to be a big thunderstorm coming down here soon. And while it would be a great lesson to not cover it up, like I told you guys, that's my little brother. I'm going to look out for him. So we're going to find, he didn't leave the key. So we're just going to have to make do and get off out of Hellcat just to make sure that uh, we don't ruin his $60,000 investment. But I'm definitely going to send a bunch of pictures to him and let him know, hey, if you would have spent $60,000 in your business, it raining today will probably not have mattered. But since you spent $60,000 on a car, that you drove and forgot that you left the sunroof open. If I didn't come today to bring mom Lysol, it could have been way worse. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow this off, but I didn't want to lay these straight on the car and scratch it up. So just a big trash bag, some bricks. And the moral of the story, I'm really saying all of this because I'm going to send this video to my little bro. Next time big bro tell you, don't spend $360,000 on a baby mansion and a Hellcat. I know what I'm talking about. You could have got 10 rental properties fully developed. You would have bought them for way less. But by the time you had over $360,000 invested, you would have had 10 rental properties cash flowing you $800 to over $1,000 per month each property. So at this point in your life, you could have had over $8,000 a month added to your passive income, which I, like I said, I know you already got over $30,000 coming in, but you could have added another $80,000 a year to your passive income streams and making six figures a year with passive income. But instead, you have a nicer house than me. Salute. You also have a nicer car than me. Salute. But you still a little bro. Oh shit, Charlie Bill. 
I got to go.